Box and Wireless Scotland, the very best of your box and wireless. Oh one six nine eight double three seven one oh seven. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Good morning. Good morning, Scotty. Ah, good morning, Irene. How are you, my love? Oh, I'm alright, thank you. Are you Scotty. are you dinky und do? A dinky und do, yes. Yeah, how yeah, are you? it's good. Oh yes, I good and tag, good and tag. <laughs> uh, no, good and morgan, good and tag, good and tag is goodbye or good night. No, good day. Good, good day, day. also good and tag's fine then. Yeah, so good yes. and tag. Well, good, yeah. Good morning at the moment. Well, yes, would we probably just, or would we say Morgan? Morgan also means tomorrow. Oh, right, so you wouldn't just say Morgan if you pass it. It means morning and it means tomorrow. But you would say Guten Morgen anyway. Ah. If you pass somebody, Guten Morgen. Yeah, oh, everywhere you go. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Guten uh, Morgen. Guten Morgen. Uh, now then, now then, my dear, what's happening with you? Oh, very busy, Scotty. Ah, this is good. We like that. I've got, I have two days off work, but I've been really, really busy, you've so been, I haven't had time to hear you. You've been, what would say, rushed off your pins. Oh, definitely. Well, no, I'll accept that as an excuse, you know, because not everybody managed to hear the favourite radio station all the time. I know. You know, even although they'd love to. I think L107 should be on in every single workplace in the country. <laughs> Scotty, but we, I, I work in a, a call centre here. Yes, well, it should and be between calls. The radio yeah, cuts and, in. And we, we can't, we can't just get, we can't get reception. Well, between calls, it should cut in. I mean, uh, what we'll do is we'll say to the call centre people, get yourselves sorted, get uh -huh. a live feed to Lanarkshire's L107, Scotland's number one radio station, uh -huh. and well, always we, have it handy. Yeah, we've tried and tried, but we, we, we just get different stations, but we can't get you. Oh, for goodness sake, what a shame. Because I'll, I'll tell you, I have this uh, this radio station on all the time in my house, and yeah. I just absolutely adore it. Yeah, and but I'm, you get reception, Scotty. We don't down here. Oh, well, of course you're and in this is the capital, you know. You you're, in Edinburgh, you're in Edinburgh, love, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yes, we should be heard in the capital of Scotland. Scotland's absolutely. radio station should be there. Go Absolutely. booming out from the top of the castle. That's it. Yes. <laughs> the king of the castle. Yeah, you should broadcast from the castle one day, Scotty. Yes. I... Mind you, don't come to Edinburgh now. What a mess. Oh, really? Absolutely what? horrendous. What have they done with it? They've dug it all up. Ah, it's a disgrace. This is for the trams. Yes. I and will... there's barriers all along Princess Street right down oh, to me. what a shame. And... Sorry? No, what a shame, I said. What a shame. Oh, I know. Yes, that's uh, what we can do then. What we can do is uh, is look forward to a wonderful tram system. Yes, and maybe ten years' time. Oh, yes, I think so. Well, you know yourself. You've been <laughs> to, to Vienna. Uh-huh. To Wien and to München. Yes, yes. and there, there are trams everywhere on the continent. Yes, Scotland. and am I not right in thinking that, uh, that München's got the trams? Yes. And Prague? Like every, every European city. Well, there you go. You see, you see, you've got to remember we're all Europeans now. They've uh -huh. just about done away with Scotland and England. I know. And that mob down south have sold us down the river to Europe. Absolutely, Scotland. Do, do you think that's a good thing, though? Do you think? No. 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 What I object to, Scotty, as as the people who come here from from Eastern Europe. Right. I see Romanians begging on the streets of Edinburgh every day. What's the point in that when they could be begging on the streets of Romania? Exactly. You know. And and they all, you know, especially women, everywhere you go, in Princess Street everywhere, there are R Romanian women begging on the streets. Well, I'm very and wary. And they look very well fed, Scotty. Yes, I'm wary of these beggars because I heard one's mobile phone go one day. Huh? You know? Yeah. So, so, so that's that's a strange thing, isn't it? Yes, and they're selling the big issue here, and they're buying up so many copies that there are none left for the Scottish big issue sellers. Yeah, but I was just thinking that uh, you know, I mean, Scotland's always had big ties with Europe trade-wise. Uh huh. But you think that total integration is not a good thing? Well, I do. If people really want to integrate, if they come here, they should learn learn the language. Yes, like like they should make an effort to integrate with the Scottish people. Because your family did that, didn't they? Yes. Yes, I think. I, I did anyway. You did. That's right. Because I, mean, I, I, I made an effort. Yes, you're and, you're virtually a Scot, aren't you? Well, now I, I consider myself half Scottish. Yes, from so Shot. I'm going from to Shotland. be going home in July again. Ah, you said now you said going home. You see, that's a bit of a giveaway, Irene. Yes, because Scotty, wherever you come from, wherever your roots are, that is home. That's home. Yeah. So, so, so you... if you went to Africa and stayed there for 
40 years, Death. and you came back to Scotland, what would you say, I'm going home? I heard a lovely story about a man in Kenya, and he got a visit from one of his friends from London, and the, uh -huh. the man was getting elderly. Uh -huh. And they were sitting in his bungalow one night, and, and they, they had the fire on because uh -huh. it was getting cold, you know, at night. Oh. And uh, they had the fire on, and the big Labrador dog was lying at the fire, oh. and they were having a wee dram of whiskey, and they were having okay. a chat. And this chat friend, he said, don't you think now, you're getting on a bit, is it not time that you came back home? Uh -huh, that's well, it, Scott. In other words, back to London. And he looked down at the dog, and he looked at the fire, and he looked at his friend, and he said, Why? Uh. You see, and it's a thought, isn't it? Because there he was, sitting in Kenya, with the uh. life that he was perfectly happy with. Uh -huh. and, and somebody told me that Africa and India, these Greek continents, get you like that. Uh -huh. They get into your very soul, and you, oh, you, you, fall, in, you fall in love with them, you know? Uh -huh. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a thought, falling in love with a... I mean, I've gone away to these places uh, and what different cities all over this country and mm -hmm. I've fallen in love with them all. I've never had a... You know, I've, I've never thought to myself, my God, I must get out of this place and get back to Scotland. Well, I think, Scotty, maybe if you lived there for a certain length of time, you would. Do you not think it's maybe to do with attitude? <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's, it's just... You know, it's a different culture. You, when you when you leave your own culture, and after a certain time, you think, well, you know, it's time I went back to my own. But the, the, the thing is, there's a story about two brothers who had gone to Canada, and they came back, and the father said to one of them, "How's Canada?" And he said, "Same as here." He said, "Nasty, backbiting people." You know. I guess so, Scotty. You know, uh -huh. that's I, like, people are the same all over the world. Well, yeah, but then he said to the other brother, he said, uh, "You know, <laughs> what? How did you find Canada?" And he said, "Same as here, just beautiful people." Oh. So you see, it just illustrates it's to do with your your, your attitude when you go somewhere. Uh-huh. It's a thought, isn't it? No, I think so. <laughs> so. So you see, the world is home, you see, the, the yeah. universe is home. Oh. We all become universalists. I know, I would love to go everywhere in the world. Yes, absolutely. And you're, a, you're an international lady, you've travelled a lot and met yes. a lot of people from different backgrounds and different cultures. Uh-huh. Very healthy stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. It is. It, it broadens your mind a lot, Scotty. Well, if we became a tax haven in Scotland, which services would you be quite happy to do without? Oh, um, mm, I really don't know. Hospitals? I mean, Could we get rid of hospitals and start to look after ourselves properly? Oh, no, we always need hospitals. But I, I think we, we should be paying for, you know, anybody who works should pay for the Their own hospital. medical care. Yeah. Yeah. Or pay an extra insurance or something. An extra few quid. Same as they do in America. Uh-huh. They do that in Germany, too. When you work, they deduct money from your wages. Do, do they do that uh, in... Well, they used to do that here. I'm sure they used to take your national insurance off you, and I thought that was to pay for well, the health. We still do that, yes. Yes, that should be to pay for the uh, health. But there are people who don't pay national insurance and they go to hospital, nobody asks, have you paid anything? Are you working? Nobody asks you. you know. uh, maybe we should but, start doing because they do that in Europe. It costs you, doesn't it? Uh, in Germany, they check. If you're not insured, that's it. Ah, there you are, you see. Maybe yes. we should take a lesson from, the, from our old chums, the Germans. I think so, Scotty. Absolutely, my love. Anyway, I better dash. Lovely to talk to you. And, okay, love and, to everybody, all the listeners. Yeah, yeah, and it's I'll good. call you next week sometime, and, Scotty. And dink you and do. Dink you and do. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> Ta-da-la. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my angel. Have a good day. Top of the dial to you. 107, you see, up the top of the dial. Somebody told me, the further up the dial you go, the higher the quality of the radio station. To your telephones, 01698 337 107. Scotty McClue's Massive Mighty Megaphone in on Lanark Chazelle 1. I'll speak to you just after this. Box and Wireless Scotland, the very best of your box and wireless.